going to preach today, but when the Lord says you got to preach, you got to preach. Hallelujah. And he just kept nagging me. And when the Holy Spirit tells you something, you got to respond. Yes. And I looked at the pastor and said, you have something for tomorrow? He goes, no. Exactly. <laughs> because I, I knew the Lord was calling me to preach today. And I was trying to, like, cop. <laughs> not do it, not do it. But um, for all his honor and grace, Mam Horan. Father, we give you honor and glory because this is your time, not my time. This is his time for the Holy Spirit to speak to the congregation. Father, let your word be produced, be manifested in their hearts and mind and soul. We thank you for the Sabbath. We thank you for your love. We thank you for giving us a place of worship and praise, Father. And we thank you that you received it. Hallelujah. We went to that throne of grace today and we received your presence, Father. With overflow of love. We thank you. We're going to look at Proverbs. It's kind of Proverbs 22, 6. Chapter 6, verse 22. Oh, That's not it. Oh, all right. Sorry. It's Ver per Proverbs 22, 6, but I was. I was saying it backwards in my Bible. I said 622. Because I have that thing where you see things backwards. <laughs> Anointing overflowing over your mind, soul, and spirit. There's a renew in your life. Glory a Dios. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Everybody has it? Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. train up a child in the ways he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Pastor, make a prayer. Hallelujah. Madre Santo, Padre, bueno, gracias te damos por esta palabra, Señor. Padre, que esta palabra toque cada corazón y penetre hasta los huesos, Señor. Usa la pastora, Señor. Transforma los de los corazones en este día, Señor. En el nombre de Yeshua, Padre, te damos gracias. Úsala. Pasa carbón y se tira por sus labios, Padre. En el nombre de tu hijo, Padre, le pedimos las cosas. Amen. Gloria a Dios. Mi alma te adora, Señor. Train up your child, he says. And in the ways, what ways? Who's the way, the truth, and the life? Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, Yahushua HaMashiach. He is the way, the truth, and the life. It says when you bring your child in the ways of the Lord, hallelujah, in the ways of the Lord, he will not depart from it. So the Lord gives the parent what? A responsibility. Say everybody, a responsibility. A responsibility. A responsibility, a responsibility to bring up my children. Amen. Amen. Because there, there are times of confusion right now. It's difficult. It's hard to bring a child in the things of God in this age. So the Lord gives us what? Instruction. His Torah. His Torah is the law. And the law means instruction. Hallelujah. We know King Solomon was given what? His holy was given the holy instruction, the wisdom of God, Yahweh. He was given the direction to direct the children of Israel. Today, the Lord is going to speak to you in a way that you will be able to understand that we need to direct our children in this path. Because at the end of the path is destruction or eternal life. This is very important in our lives. We must keep the instruction of Yahweh, our Lord, our God, in our hearts. He says, love me, like it says in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4 and 5, which is the Shema, which means Shema means, and, and listen, listen Israel. It means listen. It says, um, Yahweh is one. His name is one. Then the part that says, um, Five says, love Yahuwah, which means your God, with all your heart, your soul, and your resources. That means you must give it his all in order to produce something in your children. It says, the righteous, it says in Proverbs 27, the righteous man walks in eternity. His children are blessed. When we walk in righteousness, we are blessed. When we do the things of God, we are blessed. When we show our kids that we have the Lord in us, they are blessed. Because something is produced in our child. 
Amen. Integrity means a honest, good character, truthful person, being whole, undivided, having it all, a stable person. Can we do this? Can you do this in God? Because we could do all things to Christ that strengthens us. Whatever step a parent takes, your child will follow. I have seen two-year-olds and three-year-olds. One day I was at the beach with my family and my husband, the pastor. And there was a family in my right-hand side, and she had maybe three kids. One was the age of four. The other one was the age maybe of eight. And then she had like a, maybe a 10 or 12-year-old. But the four-year-old, these kids were constantly cursing their mother out. The language they were using was street language. And I mean, the worst language you could teach. Mom, I want that, 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 and this is blah, 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 blah. And I just looked at them. I said, how could she just say, okay, sweetie. Okay, sometimes we think it's okay to let our kids speak the way sometimes we speak because we're in the world. But we're not part of the world. God says we are part of him. When we come to him, we become one in him. So, Whatever the child sees in, in us, that, that child is going to do. If we don't pray, the child ain't going to pray. If we watch filth on TV, the child is going to watch filth. If, we, if the parent speaks filth, the child is going to speak filth. And then you're going to wonder, why is this child speaking filth and doesn't respect me? We are the example, the Lord says today. We are the example. We have to teach our children to walk in righteousness, says God. Whatever step as his parent, your children, I say it again, will follow. If you take a left, the child will take a left. If you take a right, the child is going to take a right. They will follow you in your words, your action, and wherever God you serve. If you're going to serve the right just God, they're going to follow you. But if you serve the wrong God, they're going to follow you. And we do not want to lead our children of this generation to a destruction path. We want to, we want to lead them in righteousness and produce a right spirit in them by the Spirit of God.